know, this kind of story was really the genesis for our research. Um, this happened several years ago, but it was really around the time that many companies were coming back to us at CEB in our customer service uh, uh, practice and asking us the question of, how do we differentiate our service experience? How do we deliver that kind of service experience? Because the reality is, in the market right now, customers perceive our brands, our products, our um, you know, our pricing, all these things as commodities. Uh, they're, they're not that differentiated. The next opportunity we think for differentiation might actually reside in the customer service experience. If we can be known as the company that really delights its customers, that goes above and beyond, that wows the customer, um, that could be very, very powerful in the market. So how do we do that? And this was a question that VPs, uh, uh, chief customer service officers, uh, the heads of customer experience came to us with and that we actually started researching a few years ago. Now our goal in this research was to actually go out uh, and answer a few questions and I've got those here. To what extent does customer service matter when it comes to driving customer loyalty? What are the things that customer service can do to drive loyalty? And ideally, number three, how can we do that while not breaking the bank and not uh, spending too much money? Because of course we've got to operate within um, uh, the cost constraints that we're all uh, required to operate within. So these are the questions that guided our research, and we really took a step back. Our, our customers, our members were asking us, how do we scale delight? How do we wow the customer on a consistent basis? And we took a step back to ask, um, does that actually even make sense to do uh, as a mission in general? Is that the right answer for customer service? What role does customer service play in driving customer loyalty? Um, if it is that we should replicate the Joshi the Giraffe experience around the world, how does one actually do that? Um, but first, let's stop to ask the question about whether it even makes sense. And the way we did that is with an extensive study. I won't go through all the, the data here, but uh, suffice to say, we did a lot of research. Uh, and the, the crux of this research was a survey of now more than 100,000 customers around the world, asking them in a very detailed way about recent service experiences with companies. Uh, and then, of course, at the end of that survey, understanding how loyal those customers were to those companies that they do business with. Um, there were three major findings. We did a number of other uh, pieces of research that went along with this, but um, the researcher in me, while I'm desperate to tell you all about that, will uh, uh, avoid doing so right now. But let me tell you about the three major findings that came out of this uh, research. And these are really the three um, uh, cornerstone findings uh, of the book uh, and of all of our work over the past few years. Uh, the first is that when it comes to customer service and its impact on loyalty, um, the real impact is actually not quite what most uh, service executives uh, tend to think. The first, if you look at the headline, is that Delight actually doesn't pay as much as most companies think it does. Now, if we were to ask um, uh, VPs of customer service, chief customer experience officers around the world, and we did, to tell us, what is in your mind, what do you think the impact is of a service experience on a customer's loyalty to your company? What you would um, uh, see is a graphic that, or a line that kind of maps to the dotted line here. In other words, most companies believe that when a service experience is, is below expectations, of course, you don't generate much loyalty there. But even when we simply meet the customer's expectations, we don't generate a whole lot more loyalty from doing that. Basic service, in other words, is not actually very loyalty uh, inducing. It's not until we deliver an above and beyond experience. It's not until we do what Rich Carlton did in the Joshi the Draft story. When we wow the customer, delight the customer, it's at that moment that we really get paid back in terms of loyalty. It's, it's almost um, a hockey stick curve that we see. Again, not much loyalty from failing and certainly not, and not much more loyalty from simply delivering the basics, but a huge loyalty impact when we go the extra, um, the extra mile, when we deliver above and beyond experiences. But when we go out to now 100,000 customers, what we find is that those customers whose expectations are exceeded are actually only marginally more loyal than those whose expectations are simply met. Now, of course, um, customers are not loyal, no surprise, when we fail to meet expectations. But the big surprise here is look how loyal they are when we actually just deliver the basics, when we deliver a, uh, a, a service experience.